Hi there everyone, it's Yako here. I've been working with this Carabino model here and I just did some quick uh, high poly sculpt and automatic retopo and then I just throw it in the painting room and put some textures to it. So, so I came across with this part here, this fastener kind of thing and if we look at the reference we can see that these often have this diamond pattern in it. So I'd like, I'd like to take a look how we can add this detail to this. So. Um, we already did the sculpting and I don't really feel like I want to sculpt that detail in so I'd like to just use normal maps to create that so I've got a couple of ideas how we could probably do that so let's take a look. So I've got a bunch of things here, I've got uh, my uh, paint objects in here so I've got this faster as a separate painting object so I'm just gonna leave that. And then um, we, we can see our, we have stencils here so we have a bunch of uh, variations here and I like to maybe use this diagonal uh, grid in here because this might sort of give us the what we want so we have this preview options here and we have first we have this uh, uh, magnifying glass so we can kind of uh, get an idea of what we want and we can s select this projection from the camera to uh, UV mapping and and I can, I'd like to show you the UVs so the UVs are really simple I just basically uh, did really quickly uh, that and just like put some loops in here so it's sort of uh, it's not perfect but uh, it'll do for us for this purpose so so I've got the UVs in there and now if we um, click this guy and we, we can probably start to kind of get the idea that how it's gonna look like so it's almost I think pretty much perfect so uh, because it's based on the UV it's gonna wrap around it and it's gonna like the seam is gonna be probably in here so we can maybe uh, maybe there's still this a seam in here but if it's um, behind and if you're not gonna see it from this angle it's not gonna be we might actually be able to kind of get rid of the seam like this if we just kind of scale the texture and sometimes this works that we're gonna be able to so like looks like we are almost almost done here something like this well for this demonstration maybe so if you have a perfect UV map which uh, tiles, uh, you can get rid of this. So just to to let you know that. So um, let's uh, just fill this guy in. So we've got a pretty nice looking result here. It's not too bad. Uh, definitely this this could work for us. So I'm gonna turn on the other paint objects. We can see that we have like pretty okay looking model in here so yeah just a little tip how we can use uv maps to to project some uh, normal map detail to our model so this was Jakob. please subscribe and i hope to see you soon bye bye